Hello everyone! Leo the limo's coming over to the garage today. He's a super long stretched out car who takes people to special places in style. Oh no! Look out, Leo! Oh dear. Leo's got a scratch down his side now. And he's covered in mud. That's not a good look. You'd better hurry over to the garage, Leo, so we can help you get cleaned and repaired. Oh dear, that puddle must be deeper than it looks. Leo's wheel is stuck. I'd call for Helen the helicopter, but there's too many trees and not enough room for her to land. I think it's time to call on our newest Gecko's Garage helper. Tilly the tow truck. Go, go, Tilly! Tilly the tow truck has a big hook that she can use to rescue vehicles in trouble. Tilly's hook is perfect for pulling Leo out of that deep puddle. Thank you, Tilly. Now you can both drive to the garage. Thanks again for your help, Tilly. You're a great new member of our team. Oh dear, look at the state of you, Leo. Leo's supposed to be driving me and the Mechanicals to the premiere of the new Star Truck movie. But we can't turn up with him looking like that. We'd better get you fixed up, Leo. Drive through the truck wash so that we can clean that mud away. There, now the mud's gone. Let's get you into the garage, so that we can take a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn, as we make Leo turn. Wow, that is a nasty scratch. And your sunglasses are broken too. Don't worry Leo, the mechanicals will soon have you looking as good as new. Go, go, Mechanicals! That really is an awful scratch. But the Mechanicals have paint to match. A quick respray. New glasses too. And there you are, as good as new. Fantastic! Leo looks like a super cool dude again. Well done, Mechanicals. It's time to drive over to the movie premiere. Jump in, Mechanicals. Red, orange and yellow Mechanicals. Green, blue and purple Mechanicals. Black, white and grey mechanicals, brown mechanical and pink mechanical. Hang on a minute, it looks like the mechanicals have invited all of their friends and family to join us. Goodness me, they're all coming out of the woodwork. Leo might be a stretch limo, but he can't possibly carry all these extra mechanicals to the premiere. He's going to need some help. Here come some helpers now. Maisie the mower, Trevor the tractor, Max the monster truck, Dylan the dump truck, and Bobby the bus. Hmm, I'm still not sure there's going to be room for all these extra mechanicals. Let's measure you. Let's measure the vehicles to see how long they are. We can use the crates to help us. Maisie the mower is the smallest. She's one crate long. 
Next is Trevor the tractor. Two crates long. The middle truck is Max the monster truck. Three crates long. Even bigger is Dylan the dump truck. Four crates long. The longest vehicle is Bobby the bus. Five crates long. To make more room for more mechanicals, I think we're going to have to turn you all into... Stretch trucks! Let's press the stretch button. The first one in is little Maisie. Ha ha, this machine is really crazy. It pushes and pulls her, fast then slower. Welcome Maisie, the stretch mower. Here comes Trevor from the farm. Don't worry Trev, no need for alarm. Now he really has the X Factor. Introducing Trevor, the Stretch Tractor. Next in line is our friend Max. Following in Trevor's tracks. Everyone will be awestruck by Max, the Stretch Monster Truck. Dylan is the next one through. Ready to join the stretched out crew. A twist, a pull, a nip, a tuck. It's Dylan, the stretch dumper truck. Bobby is the last through the machine. It stretches him like a string bean. It's Bobby XL++++. Plus plus plus. It's Super Long Bobby, the stretch bus. Let's see how long our vehicle friends are now. Maisie the mower is six crates long. Trevor the tractor. Seven crates long. Max the monster truck. Eight crates long. Dylan the dump truck. Is nine crates long. And last but definitely not least, Bobby the bus is Ten crates long. They're enormous. That's everyone on board. Let's head over to the movie premiere. Wow, this is amazing! Thank you to Leo and my other truck friends for driving us to the movie in style. I'm sorry they can't join us all in the cinema. They're too long to fit in the seats. Hang on a minute. This isn't a regular movie theatre. It 
it's a drive-in. That means everyone can watch the film, even my truck friends. Hooray! Hello everyone, we've got a visitor here today. Have you seen him anywhere? He's big. He's very big. He's George the Giant Dump Truck. Oh, there you are, George. George is usually hard at work in the mine, carrying massive amounts of rock. But today, he's here at Gecko's Garage getting some new tyres fitted. They are huge! George is so big, he can't fit inside the garage, so he's having his tyres changed outside. Those look great! Well done, Mechanicals! Before he goes home to the mine, George is going to visit his little brother Dylan the dump truck over at the construction site. The site entrance is wide, but George is much wider. Uh-oh, he's going to knock down the fence. Watch out, George! Oh dear. Florence and Sid are getting the flowers ready to plant in the gardens of the new houses. What pretty flowers! Red, yellow, and blue. Don't leave the flowers there. Those flowers are tall, but George is much taller. Uh-oh, George can't see the flowers and he's going to squash them. Watch out, George! Oh dear. Celia's pouring concrete foundations into that trench. The trench is large, but George is much larger. Uh-oh, he's going to drive straight through it. Watch out, George! Oh dear. Here's George's brother, Dylan. He doesn't look very happy about all the mess that George has made today. And here comes Helen the helicopter. She's checking on the construction work from way high up in the sky. Oh dear, something's wrong. I think Helen's about to crash land on the construction site. Oh dear, poor Helen. We need to get you back to the garage. But how can we do that? I'd normally call Helen to carry a broken vehicle to the garage, but she can't carry herself. Helen is very big. Can you think of anyone that could help get Helen to the garage? George! That's right! Helen is very big, but George is much bigger. He can carry Helen back. George is too big for gardening. And he smashed the construction gate. He messed up Celia's concrete. That really wasn't great. But when Helen was in trouble, he knew just what to do. No matter if you're big or small, there's a perfect job for you. Well done, George. You've saved the day. The Mechanicals will get Helen sorted out in no time, and you'd best head home to the mine. You've got important work to do. Bye! Oh! Uh-oh! The trees! Watch out, George! 
too late. Hello everyone. Are you ready to join me and the mechanicals for Gecko's Garage ABC? Let's get started. That is for Amber the Ambulance. She'll help if you fall down. Ba is for Bobby the Brilliant Bus. He'll drive everyone into town. Ka is for our cool car wash to make our vehicles shiny. Da is for Danny the Digger. He digs holes, huge or tiny. E is for everyone's engines that keep their wheels turning. Fa is for Fiona the fire truck who sprays things when they're burning. G is for our garage where this video starts and ends. Also, G is for me. That's Gecko. Always here to help my friends. H is for noisy honking horns to let you know we're here. I is for icy roads and parts that Trevor the tractor helps to clear. J is for our hydraulic jack, lifting vehicles off the ground. K is for all our vehicle's keys that sometimes can't be found. L is for Larry the lorry, lugging parcels from place to place. M is for Max the monster truck, who likes to jump and race. And also for Millie the motorbike, who really enjoys the chase. N is for new number plates, so that we know who's who. O is the garage oil can, keeps them running good as new. P is for a nice new coat of paint, when scratches are a pain. Q is for queuing at the car wash to clean that mud off again. R is for Rebecca the recycling truck, collecting old things to make into new. S is for Sophie the sports car, sometimes pink, sometimes yellow or blue. T is for Tony the taxi. He really knows his way around. And Trevor the tractor works down at the farm, digging and seeding the ground. R is for under this mystery sheet. What have those mechanicals found? Yes, V is for Vicky the van, who you might meet next time around. W is for wheels that we change when the old ones wear through. X is for x-ray machine that we use to get a clear internal view. Y is for yard, used to test all our vehicles to see if we fix them up right. And Z is for Zoom, when they're back to full speed. Hello everyone, Dr Poppy's acting very strangely today. She's asked me to come over here to the spare parts store to look for some traffic cones. But I can't find them anywhere. Hello everyone, it's Gecko's birthday today, so I'm trying to keep him away from the garage while we set up his surprise birthday party. Lots of Gecko's friends are here to help out, and we have a list of things to do. We need balloons, ice cream, music, a birthday cake, games, guests, gifts, and some party hats. Well, it looks as if the balloons are nearly sorted. Well done, Mechanicals! 
Here comes Vicky the ice cream van. You can't have a party without yummy ice cream. And here's Amber the ambulance. The loudspeaker on her roof will be great for playing party music. I wonder how Gecko's getting on at the spare part store. I hope Florence is keeping him busy. This spare parts store is such a mess. I can't find those traffic cones. Let's keep looking, Florence. We have balloons, ice cream and music ticked off the list. Now we need to make a birthday cake. First, we need the ingredients. Dylan is carrying the flour. Sid has the sugar and the cocoa powder. And here comes Trevor with butter and eggs, fresh from the farm. We need to mix all of the ingredients together. I know just the mixer, Celia! Now the ingredients are mixed and poured into that giant cake tin, we need to cook the cake. Hmm, it's far too big for my kitchen oven. What are we going to do? I found this controller for the truck wash, Dr Poppy, and it appears to have a party setting on it. Shall we see what it does? Great idea, Robbo. Press the party button. The truck wash has changed into a giant cake baking and decorating machine. Let's put it in. Look at that cake rise! Now the birthday cake is getting decorated. The icing is green, just like Gecko. And finally, the cake just needs a few candles. Brilliant! That's the cake done, so we're nearly ready. I wonder if Gecko has found those cones yet. <laughs> oh dear, the traffic cones are orange. We've sorted out all of the orange things, but still can't find them. Keep looking, Florence. They must be here somewhere. What do we have left on our list? Games, guests, gifts and party hats. Ah, here come the games! Ryan has a piñata filled with sweets. And Sophie has a giant parcel ready for a game of Pass the Parcel. And here are all the guests with their gifts for Gecko. Just the party hats left to get. Found them! Phew! Come on, Florence. Let's take all these cones back to the garage. I wonder what Dr Poppy wants them for. Shh, everybody. Here he comes. Three, two, one. Surprise! <laughs> oh my goodness. What a lovely surprise. Thank you, everyone. What an amazing looking cake. But just one question, what did you need the traffic cones for? They make the perfect party hats for your vehicle friends, of course! <laughs> Happy birthday, Gecko! Gecko's garage today and helping us with Gecko's surprise birthday party. There's a new vehicle in town today. Her name's Evie. She's clean and quiet and speedy. Evie's driven a long way today, so she wants to stop off at Gecko's garage for a rest. 
Oh dear, what's happened to Evie? She was zooming along and now she's slowed right down. She must be very tired. You'd better get over to Gecko's garage, Evie. Quickly. Uh, I mean, slowly. Hello, Evie. You seem very slow and sluggish. Hmm. I think you might need refueling. Drive round to our fuel pumps and we'll soon get you sorted out. Right now, let's get you filled up with fuel. Oh, where's your fuel cap? Hmm, that's very strange. I can't see it anywhere. How can we fill up your fuel tank if there's nowhere to put the fuel in? Something seems wrong here. Head into the garage and let's have a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Evie turn. Evie looks like a normal car, but where does her fuel go? And no exhaust pipe either. What's wrong? I just don't know. There's something that I'm missing, a nagging little doubt. I'll wake up the mechanicals to check her engine out. Go, go mechanicals! What, what, what's going on? It's empty. Evie, where's your engine? How can you drive around without an engine? Oh, Evie. Oh, E, V. E, V. Electric vehicle. Of course. Evie is an electric car. Instead of a petrol or diesel engine to power the car, Evie has electric motors that drive her wheels and batteries hidden under her seats, which store all of the electricity she needs. That's why she's so quiet. She doesn't have an exhaust pipe belching out nasty fumes or a fuel tank because she fills up with electricity instead. Evie. You need to be plugged in to charge up. We have two regular fuel pumps, but no electric car charging point. We'll have to install one. I'll get Florence the forklift to bring the parts over and we can build one. Well done, Mechanicals. That's looking great. The electric charging point is connected to the solar panels on the garage roof that Chelsea the cherry picker helped us to install. Here's the charging cable. Now, where on Evie do we plug it in? Brilliant! Evie has a charging socket hidden in her nose. So now Evie can fill up with clean electricity using energy from the sun. The charging station tells us how full of electricity Evie is. Look at those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She's full up. Fantastic! Thanks for visiting us today, Evie. Have a safe journey. Call in and see us whenever you need a top-up. And we'll see you again soon too. Hello everyone! We've got a real problem at the garage today. Rick the road roller hasn't got any roads to roll at the construction site. He's really bored. And now he's here, flattening anything he can find. Hey, that's my toolbox. Rick. 
we really need to find something useful for Rick to do before he causes any more damage. Hello, Vicky. Vicky the Ice Cream Van's visiting us today too. She's looking for something new to sell to people at the beach. Ice creams and lollies are okay as a treat, but Vicky wants to sell something a bit healthier as well. Come inside the garage, Vicky, and I'll show you what we've got for you. Check out the Rainbow Smoothie Trailer 3000. It can hold six different types of smoothie, made with yummy, healthy fruit. It's the perfect drink to cool people down during a hot day at the beach. What's the matter, Vicky? Don't you like it? Oh, I see. You like the smoothie trailer, but it's empty. Hmm, how are we going to make the smoothies? My truck friends can deliver the fruit, but we need a way to squash it into juice. That is a problem. Can you think of anyone who can help us to squash the fruit? Rick! Of course! That solves both our problems. Rick gets something useful to squash and Vicky gets her smoothies. We need a platform for Rick to stand on so that he can squash the fruit. Then we can park the smoothie trailer underneath to catch the juice. This sounds like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! While the mechanicals are building the platform for Rick, let's have a look at the yummy fruit that my truck friends are delivering. Helen the helicopter is carrying a load of giant watermelons. Florence the forklift has crates of juicy oranges. Dylan the dump truck is carrying lemons, pineapples and mangoes. Trevor the tractor has a trailer of crunchy apples and furry kiwis. Sid the skid loader is loaded up with blueberries, grapes and plums. And Max the monster truck has boxes of tasty bananas and delicious ripe raspberries. Let's make some rainbow smoothies. Let's get squashing. We'll start with red. Oh no, Rick's crushing green fruit instead. Oh, now I see why he was so keen. Inside the watermelon is red, not green. Now here's a fruit with nothing to hide. It's called an orange and it's orange inside. It's the juice I love the most. It's yummy with my morning toast. Lemon, pineapple and mango. Rick squashes them up. The juice is yellow. Watch the pipes as the liquids flow into the trailer down below. Next, I think it must be time for apple and kiwi and a hint of lime. The best juice colour I've ever seen. Just like me, a lovely green. Now I don't know what to do. Blueberry juice isn't really blue. So let's add grapes and then a plum. A purple smoothie's just as fun. Just one more box of fruit to go. Squash those raspberries nice and slow. Add some bananas and it's ready to drink. This final one is super pink. Fantastic! Well done everyone! Those smoothies look great! Before you head off to the beach, Vicky, I think we should do a taste test. Mmm, -mm, these are yummy! The people at the beach are going to love these healthy fruity drinks. 
Thanks for joining us at Gecko's Garage today and helping us to make delicious smoothies. If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.